They can't love you, sis, if they're raping you. They can't love you, sis, if they kills hundreds of millions of your people. They don't love you, sis, when they put you on them slave ships. Right. Did they love you when they took your children and sold them? So they hate you, sis, read it again. They hate you. Of all this wickedness that's on this earth. He's gonna do what? 
He's going to start destroying it. Now, what side of that destruction do you want to be on, sir? You want to be on the right side? So let me ask you a question now. What's your nationality? Black American? What we're going to show you is that you're more than just a black American, sis. You are actually an Israelite according to the Bible. You understand that? That's the nationality you have to come back to. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. Now, your question should be, how do we know that? How do, we think, how do you think that, that we can stand up here boldly and say that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, sis? Because our spirit bears witness with what's written in the Bible. Now let me ask you, I'm going to see if your spirit bears witness with it. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so the Most High God is telling the Israelites that if you do not keep the commandments and do what he commands us to do, that all these curses shall come upon the Israelites and overtake the Israelites, right? So now let me show you something here. Slavery, did that happen? What are some of the, the attributes of slavery? What happened during slavery to our people? They went on slave ships, what else? All on themselves and stuff like that? Hey, how y'all sisters doing? We're going over slavery today. What's your name, sis? Sophia. Huh? Sophia. Sophia, what's your name, sis? Naya. Naya. Sophia, Naya, what's your name again? And Brenda. We're going over nationality. What's your nationality, Sophia? Hispanic. Hispanic, right? What we're showing you is that the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're all one people. Right. Right? And we're identifying who they are according to what's written in the Bible. Now, Hispanics have been oppressed, right? This is, this is the Hispanics' land in a Native American land, right? Blacks have been oppressed as well. We came over in slavery. I asked Brenda, what are some of the attributes of slavery? She said slave ships, where they were, where they were defecating and those things. What are some of the attributes of our oppression in slavery? What happened to your people, Sophia? They got kicked out of their land. What about you, sis? They got stolen from their own land, right? What we're showing you is that that's actually written in the Bible and that identifies who you are as a people. Now let's get some of those things that we were talking about. First you mentioned slave ships, right? Let's see who went on slave ships and what nation of people did that. Give me verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Most High God told the children of Israel that he's going to bring you into Egypt again with ships. Now, what does Egypt mean? Give me that Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Go ahead. I am the Lord thy God, Go ahead. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage. So what's another word for bondage? Sophia? Connection. Connection? What's another word for bondage, Brenda? Bondage. Can't move. What's another word for bondage? Locked up. locked up. What's another word for locked up? You were what? You are slaves, right? right. Slavery. Bondage. You seem like you don't believe that, Sophie. Oh, I do. Okay, because we were what in Egypt? The Israelites were slaves in Egypt, right? right? Read that. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go ahead. Go. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It says the Lord shall bring the children of Israel into slavery, bondage again with what? With ship. With what? With ship. What nation of people? Give me that sign with the slave ships. I want y'all to take a look at this sign. This is why we have these signs out here. That's why you have a flyer. What nation of people? And you mentioned they used the bathroom on one another. Some of them died right next to another. The women had their menstrual right on top of and next to each other. They, they had suffered diseases against each other. What nation of people did this happen to? Did this happen to your people, sis? Yeah. That happened to your people too, Sophia. Did this happen to your people, Brenda? Yeah. Is that not written in the Bible? Read it again. The, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Most High God is going to bring the children of Israel into slavery again with what? With ship. On cargo slave ships. You were brought over here as cargo. You were traded for oil.
for guns, for gold, for, for, um, for ivory, all those different resources. We were cargo. On cargo slave ships we. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. We will never see our homeland again. How you doing back there, sis? We're going over our history in the Bible. This is true black history right here. Right. The slave ships, who the people were before slavery, we're going to find out that you are the children of Israel. That's your nationality. Right. Before 1492, when the conquistadors and all the great settlers and the great conquerors came over here in America, your people were the children of Israel. They're Native Americans. Right. We are, and that's all written in the Bible. Read. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Same way Moses said it was going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You will never see your homeland again. You will never be able to go back to what they say, go back to Africa then if you don't like it here. Right? When they get just mad at you when you want to protest against your own oppression, they say go back to Africa then. Right? But the part of Africa that they don't want to let you know that you need to go back to is Jerusalem. Right. right. Jerusalem is connected to Africa. You understand that? They created the Suez Canal to divide the land and then they call it Middle East. Because when they get crafty enough, they want to say Christ is Middle Eastern. Right? Bring Middle up. East was a new term. Christ looked just like you and me. He looked right. just like all of us. Right. The so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're not Middle Eastern. Your homeland is Jerusalem. Right. Read. Okay. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We will be sold when we got over here in this land here. Unto our enemies. Now let me ask you a question. Us being taken into slavery and the things that happened to our people, with your friends and people that, that we want to not be racist against, we want to join together with, would your friends do that to you, sis? Brenda. You know, your friends will put you into slavery. No, right? So what does God call the people that did this to your people? Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Shall be sold unto who? Your enemies. Unto your home. Your enemies. Read again, and there. And there. In that land you shall be what? You shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. Must understand this. The Most High God wrote these words in the Bible for a reason. Give me the Lord as a man to war. You must understand. The Most High God wrote this book. The Most High, this is war, sis. We are prisoners of war. We lost the battle. The Most High God destroyed, made us get destroyed by our enemies. And now we're comfortable here. Read this. Let me show you about our God here. Read. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Most High God is a man of war. So now he's waking you up, sis, that thought you was a rainbow, to now you said, I'm black African American, to eventually you're going to say, I'm an Israelite according to the Bible because you're at war now. Right. And you're taking up that war now. Part of that warfare is acknowledging who you are and understanding that God has separated you from all the other nations. They know it. You don't. You understand that? This is an act of war. You shall be sold unto your what? You shall be sold unto your enemies. For what? For bond men. For slave men. And what else? And bond women. And slave women. Let me touch on the women for a second in slavery. Because, Brenda, you're a woman, right? You are a so-called African-American woman. What happened to our women on the slave plantations? Um, they, had to be, um, they had to be maids. What else? They did what? Yes, you were. You had to obey and fulfill all of your slave masters' sexual desires as well as serve them in their household. That's the truth. That's why when the other nations walk by and they hear it, they're like, oh my God, that's atrocious. Yeah, guess what? Your four parents did that to our people, to our sisters. And our sisters are too afraid and too scared and too dumbed down to understand that, sis, these people are your enemies. That's an act of war against you, sis. This, is that in the Bible, that our women would be raped? Bring it up. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
My familia is the 12. With the men are being raised up now to what? follow God's laws, let's see what happened to our women. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 30. When you were sold as bond women, what happened? Read. Thou shalt be taught a wife. Those same big black men that walked past. Then I asked what happened to your women during slavery. They say you shall be told the wife, big black docile man. You shall be told the wife, and what happened? And another man shall lie with her. And your wife is gonna be taken to be to be the pleasuring of another man. Your wife was gonna be taken to be raped and to have sex parties and to be a bedwinch for the master and to do everything the master wanted to do sexually. This perverted behind. This perverted, homosexual, distorted, crazy self he is. Masochist. To the point where he raped our men as well. Bring it up. In front of our women. And we see our black men walking past today, they don't want to even acknowledge the things that happened to our women that happened to them. Why? Because they're destroyed, sis. Right. Read that again. Thou shalt betroth a wife. So the black man will betroth a wife and the Hispanic man and the Native American man betrothed wives and what happened to them? And another man shall lie with her. What did the Most High God call those other people that oppressed us? Deuteronomy 28, 68 again. Deuteronomy it says another man shall lie with your wife. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. How you doing, and sir? there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So what did the most I got? Hey, how y'all sisters doing? Can I ask y'all a question real quick? We're dealing with what happened to our women during slavery, right? And what happened, let me ask you, what happened to our sisters during slavery on the slave plantation, sis? What happened? Yes. What was, what was our sister's role on the slave plantation? Either to take care or to breed. To Basically. take care, to breed, and to what else? <laughs> and the pleasure of the slave master, right? Okay. Our sisters were raped. Okay. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. They were milkmaids as well, where they breastfed the master's children. If they hate us, if we were so disgusting and degenerate of a people to the point where they don't even want to live around us, why would you let another woman breastfeed your children? Bring it out! That same women that you call gross, oh my God, your skin is so black and you're ugly. Look at your butt. Look at your hair, it's nasty. Why would you want these people to breastfeed your children? Because they know more about you than you know. Right. And the person that raped you, what did God call them? Your and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Did your friends rape you, sis? What did God call the people? How you doing, bro? Is your family right here? It's your family. Let me ask you a question, bro. We're going over slavery in the Bible. And we're showing you that the curses written in the Bible identifies that the people who went through those things are the children of Israel. You understand? We are God's chosen people and we're suffering the curses because we broke God's laws. Now we dealt with the women during slavery, right? Now these are your children. During slavery, what happened to our children, brother? You're wrong. What's your name? Steve. I can't hear you. Steve. Huh? Steve. Steve. What happened to our children during slavery, Brenda? They sold it. They sold it. What happened during slavery to our children, Steve? They, 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 made them maids. they made them maids. They made them slaves. Were you able to raise your children if Master didn't want you to raise them, Steve? What happened to them? Let's talk about it. We have to, because that identifies who you are. What? What happened to our children, Steve? Huh? You don't know? Give me verse 32. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. So we dealt with the attributes of slavery and who slavery identifies. We dealt with the slave ships. We dealt with what happened to our women during slavery, how our men had no power to stop the master from raping our wives and our daughters. Now what happened to our children during slavery as well? Read. Thy sons and thy daughters. He's saying your sons and your daughters shall do what? Shall be given unto another people. Shall be given unto another people. Now, Steve, let me ask you a question. If someone, if a, if a, a master, let's go back to slavery. 
If a master came right now and took your baby girls and said, hey, Steve, your daughters have been sold to Master Charles in West Virginia, how would you feel, Steve? That'll break your heart. You want to fight them, right? You're going to fight. You, you, you say you'll die for your children, right? Guess what? Guess what, Steve? You wouldn't die. Why? Because the Most High took our spirits from us. Right. What you would do is this. Read on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Your sons and daughters, Steve and Brenda, will be given unto another people. And sis holding that handsome young man, your sons and your daughters will be given unto another people. And what'll happen? Go ahead. And then I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All you would do, Steve, as a grown man, a big, strong man, is do what? Your eyes shall do what? Shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All you're going to do is cry and beg, Master, not to take your children from you. Cry and long for them. Oh, God, please, Master, no, don't do it. Oh, little Timmy. Oh, little Molly. Oh, my daughter's taken away from me. Master, please don't, 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 don't sell my child. Don't take him from me. That's what you would do, Steve. You couldn't fight because the most I took his spirit from you. He took his spirit from all of our men. So that our, we couldn't deal with our sisters. We couldn't even govern our own wives. You understand that? Read it. Keep reading from the top again. Thy sons uh -huh. and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine head. The Most High God said there shall be no might in your hand to get your children back. And that's what happened to our people. Now, so we dealt with sons and daughters, we dealt with slave ships, we dealt with our women on the plantation. Sis, what's your name? Huh? Aviance. Aviance. What happened during slavery to our people? Give me some attributes. What's going on? You don't know what happened. So we didn't come over here on slave ships. Our women wasn't raped during slavery. They were. Our children wasn't bought and sold on auction blocks. They were. They were, right? Let me get another one. Give me first 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. What you're also going to learn is this here. This is what happened during slavery. Real quick, Steve. Five more minutes. Read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. We will be brought to serve our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God send them against us. Why? Because we broke his laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. We didn't prefer to serve God. Much like how we do today in the Christian church, saying God's laws is done away with. And when the laws come out, our people run and walk away. Oh, my God, it's oppressive. Don't judge me. If I want to sleep with any man and I want to, I, that's my free will and I want to do it. Right? If I want to smoke weed or smoke cigarettes, that's fine. I don't care if I'm the temple of God. I want to do it. That's why the Most High God did that to us. Read. In hunger. And we want food now, sis. When you buy your food from any grocery store, who owns that store, sis? The white man. The white man owns the stores, right? Who owns it? So when we want food, we got to go to our enemy's street. And then thirst. When we want water, something that freely falls from the sky, who do we got to go to when we pay our water bill and buy a bottle of water or to take a shower? Who do we go to? The so-called white man. Right, read. And then nakedness. When we want our clothes, who tells us how to dress? Who showed our sisters how to dress? Who shows our brothers how to dress today? Steve? White man. The so-called white man does that, right? But we got to start doing though. We are at war, spiritual warfare. We must get our minds back, understand, identify who our enemies are, know who we are, so that we can start fighting this war spiritually. And hunger, thirst, and what else? And then what of all things? Let me ask you a question. If a loved one dies, what do you got to do? Bury him. You got to bury him. Do you have to pay somebody to bury him? And then what piece of paper do you get on that dead loved one? You get an obituary, a death certificate. When your children are born, what do you have to get? A birth certificate. You get a social security number. In one of all things, if you want to drive your car, what do you have to get? A, license. a driver's license. From who? The from the so-called white man, which oh. the most High God calls him what? Read again from the top. Therefore, shalt thou serve Thy enemies. Most like God calls them your enemies because your friends would not do this to you. Your friends wouldn't have you oppressed to this day. Now jump to your of iron. And he. And he. That same enemy shall do what now? This is going to identify who the enemy is and who we are. Read. 
shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. It says that enemy shall put a yoke of iron upon our necks. Let me get that. Right there. Right there. Who did this happen to? What nation of people did this happen to? The yokes of iron upon, and who put those yokes of iron on our necks? So called white, guess what? The Arab man did it as well, and the, and the African man did it as well. Let's get this sign right here. Hold it. Look at this right here. It wasn't just a so called white man. The white man did this to us here. But guess what? There was a sub Saharan slave trade. Right. We were slaves in China where we right. built the Great Wall of China. Right. We were slaves in Egypt. Right. We were slaves, and guess what? They're still doing it to our brothers in Libya today. Right. They're still kept carrying our brothers away on slavery today in Libya. Look at this here. So-called white man, Arab man, and the African man. They all took part in that slave trade together. So they'll teach us in school that black people sold black people into slavery to the white man. No. Nilotic Africans sold Israelites to the white man. Arabs sold Israelites to the so-called white man and to build up their kingdom. You understand that? So these curses identify what people, what people went through these things that we've been going over. You good, soldier. What people went over these things. Thank you so much. You good. So now, we brought all that up. One question, Steve, before you go. We brought all that up to show you that if your people went through these things, you're not black. You're not African American. You are actually an Israelite according to the Bible. Yes, so instead of the Bible has your history, it has your nationality in it. And what we must do now Going back to you, sis, you must not talk about, I don't, I don't care who I am, I don't want to be racist. You have to identify who you are in order to get the salvation that you deserve. Salvation, being saved, is not talking about you saved, dipped in water, and you baptized in the Holy Ghost. Salvation is freedom from captivity. That's why Jesus Christ came. Get that in Luke. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. This is salvation. This is what it means to be saved according to the Bible. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He is the God of Israel. Our people hate the fact that the other nations are not included in the Most High God's Bible written by our forefathers to our people. Why in the world do you care about the salvation of other people when they're living in their kingdom now and you are slaves to them? Why are you? Why do you care about that? Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. For He has visited and redeemed His people. He redeemed His people, Brenda. He didn't redeem the whole world. Read. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of His servant David. He gave us a horn, a leader. Who was that horn that God gave to the children of Israel? Who? Jesus Christ. Sis. You got the spirit dealing with you, sis. You know better than to call yourself African American. He raised up Jesus for his people. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been made, which have been since the world began. So guess what? That Old Testament talks nothing about everyone being saved. Right. That's why they don't want to teach you the Old Testament in the Christian church that was given to you by your enemies. Your slave masters taught you Christianity. The Israelites are going to teach you the Bible. That's right. You understand that? We're teaching you the Bible today, not Christianity. Read. That we should be saved. And we shall be what? Saved. From who? From our enemies. What did our enemies do to us, sis? Slave ships. Raped our mothers. Took our children. We got to go to them for everything. We shall be saved out of this condition. Do you want that for your people? Is every nation being oppressed like us? No. So who needs to be saved then, sis? Who needs that salvation? And the most high God has given that to us, sis. Read it again. That we should be saved. That we shall be saved and free. From our enemies. From the people that did this to our people. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. They can't love you, sis, if they're raping you. They can't love you, sis, if they kill hundreds of millions of your people. They don't love you, sis, when they put you on them slave ships. Right. Did they love you when they took your children and sold them? So they hate you, sis, read it again, they hate. That we should be saved 
from our enemies and that we should be saved from our enemies this condition of slavery read and from the head of all that hate us and from the hand of all that hate us we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision the tents of judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on paul's mission we out on the road purple and gold from mexico cuba haiti ghana sierra leone 144,000 boots banging concrete crackling these are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.